Hello, good morning. I turn this TV off. I don't know if I want to shut this door because if I shut the door, then I start to really sweat. Mm -hmm. Happy Monday. How are you guys? I hope everybody's having a great summer. I'm really excited to pray with you all today. <sighs> oh, there's Father. Okay, perfect. And he uh, is going to leave today, so. Put these in the rain here. Hi, Father. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you today? Good. Good. Very good. Um, before we get started, we just have a few intentions uh, from the community. Sure. Um, Katie has, she's asked us to pray for um, Justina Hudson. Uh, for healing and strengthening. And then Mindy's also asked us to pray for Ryan, who's a three-year-old, and he fell and he needs facial surgery immediately. And then from Karen, please pray for a peaceful, happy, holy death for my husband, Roger. He's actively dying after a grace-filled battle with stage four pancreatic cancer. So definitely want to pray for both Karen and Roger. And I also just want to pray for families today. And also uh, for conversions and vocations and for you, Father, <laughs> and everybody else who's here, um, intention said and unsaid. So and anything you'd like to pray for before we start? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, in a specific way, I have three dear friends who were ordained priests on Saturday oh, um, wow. in oh. Long Island, New York, in the Diocese of Rockville Center. So for uh, Father Stephen Rooney, Father Christopher Heller, and Father Louis Kona. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Praise be God. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. All right. Sure. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, and thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world to that end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel appearing to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to St. Elizabeth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of our Lord in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of our Lord Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope, to thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God. That, that we, we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. <laughs> Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that ever while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Most Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus. Pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary. Pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for pray us. For. Maybe I'll end with a blessing here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. You're that welcome. was beautiful. Yeah, joy to be with you. That was really Thank nice. Thank you. Um, so we always like to start off asking our um, guests their rosary story. 
Ah. So, yeah, how you maybe first learned it and then maybe when it really had an impact on your life. Yeah, uh, I, I came from a rather faithful um, Irish Catholic family. If, uh, those who know me know that uh, I have one sibling, one older sister, and she's a religious yes. sister. I know. So we, we so like great. to joke it runs in the family. Um, yeah. So uh, we, when we, we were raised faithful. Uh, when, when my father uh, passed when I was nine and my sister was 11, uh, we actually clung to our faith a lot more. Um, and we started getting more involved with our parish. We started going to daily mass before school. Um, and my mother even got involved with uh, organizations in our parish, like the Legion of Mary. So we started to uh, pray the rosary as a, um, not, I, I wouldn't say um, terribly often as a family. It's not like we would say daily or, uh, but I, I know we would um, go often uh, with members of our parish to pray outside the local Planned Parenthood that was in our mm -hmm. town. And so that's kind of the earliest memory of the rosary for me. Um, and then growing up, and I've, I've matured a little since I was 10 years old. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and as my relationship with Mary has grown, I like to think of it still very simply. So I'm a mama's boy. So, so my mom and I are very close. So it's easy for me to have a relationship with Mary as my mother. And I like to, I, someone told me this once and I, I, I love it dearly, uh, to picture when we're holding the beads of the rosary to simply imagine that we're just holding Mary's hand, just mm -hmm. holding Mary's hand, our, our mom. And uh, whether we're doing it for comfort and consolation when we need it, um, or just, uh, just spending time with her. Uh, that's how I view the rosary now as kind of this needed um, uh, bridge to, to, to Mary and therefore to Jesus. Um, so to keep uh, my priesthood going in the right direction and, and, and just my, my life and, and, and my soul and uh, that relationship with Mary is so important. So I, so I hang on to Mary's hand as much as possible. So um, which mystery would you say you're often more likely to be really holding her hand? <laughs> or... I, you know, I, I love um, the first thing that comes to mind is in the Annunciation, Mm -hmm. um, many people have, have drawn on this uh, detail at the end of that scene in, um, in the gospel, it simply says, and the angel departed from her. Mm -hmm. And I think here's this 14-year-old, uh, roughly 14-year-old girl who has an angel appear to her, tell her that she is going to be the mother of the Messiah, and all of a sudden she's alone. There was mm -hmm. no manual, there was no, mm -hmm. here's what you do next. She was just no internet. Young. No, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Um, no directions to her cousin Elizabeth's house. So uh, she's she's just there. She kind of figured out God's plan for her in the long term sense, but then she was just kind of alone. I, I so I always think of um, that beautiful detail, of the Annunciation. Mm. Uh, the angel departed from Mary, and what does she do? She ran in haste to her cousin Elizabeth. She says, "I don't know what I'm going to do now, but but." My, my cousin needs help, so I'm just going to go serve. She continues to, to be a handmaid of the Lord and, and a handmaid of, of others, of mm. those who she loves. So that, that comes to mind as, a, as maybe a favorite mystery or something that I hang that's, on to her hand a little more. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah I, I think in, in the um, denunciation, obviously, it's within the joyful mysteries, but yeah. it also had to be pretty scary. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Father Mike Schmitz talks about this, the joyful mysteries, how uh, they, you could look at them as not being joyful, right? The angel departs from Mary. And then this pregnant girl has to go all the way to visit her cousin Elizabeth. <laughs> and then she gives birth in a barn and lays her newborn child yes, in, in right. a literal feeding trough. Right. And then she goes to present her child to the temple and somebody tells her that seven swords will pierce her heart. And then uh, she loses her 12 year old son. Those are the joyful mysteries. Right, you're right joyful. though, yeah. Um, and, and what makes them joyful, we have to look, right? Because joy is so, uh, so integral to our faith. It's so important that we be uh, joyful people because we have this good news. It's not that things don't go right all the time, uh, but our joy is so necessary in all of these difficulties uh, because we, we can be so close to the Lord in them. And yeah. the joyful news for all of us Christians, all of us Catholics, is that uh, assuming we you know, hold up our end of the bargain, we get to go to heaven. So no matter what happens in life, what difficulties, 
um, I get to go to heaven, right? So my father passed when I was when I was young. So that yeah. difficulty of, of living without a father, um, but I get to go to heaven. You know, um, right. if, if there's any illness, uh, other illness in my family or those that I love or any difficulty or stressful moment in, in my life, um, it's all real, right? And even uh, look, you know, look at it. The, the, there's so many disasters in the world we could point towards. Uh, those are all real, but it's just as real as I, as my being able to go to heaven. Right. Uh, and so therefore, everything has to be looked at with that lens, uh, that joyful lens that as difficult as this is, heaven is so real for me. It's so possible. It's, it's right there. Mm. So we always have to keep that in mind as, as joyful Christians, or at least yes. try to remind ourselves. Right. Um, yeah. Somebody asked also about, I mean, your mom, wow. What a faithful, persevering yeah. woman. Ev and ev everyone, everyone loves to, to ask her, all right, how'd you do it? Like, yes, food, that, you know, yeah, that's how, what we want to know too. <laughs> how, how'd you go two for two and what do we do? Uh, and my mom will immediately tell you, she said, I had nothing to do with this. She'll say, I was just in charge of food and transportation and they, <laughs> they made their way. Um, I love but, that. but there, there's kind of a, a, a beauty mm. to that. My mom didn't do anything unique. Uh, I think, I think there's something special to that, um, to, to steal her word. Obviously, um, raising two children as a single mother, first having a dying husband and then having Right. two children and to go that that's kind of miraculous on its own yes um so i don't want I'll, I'll i'll listen to her a little but also uh she she just kept bringing us to the lord you know and i know so many faithful uh parents who have done that and and haven't gotten the response mm -hmm. i mean it's not it's not exactly a a manual for how to have a, a priest and a nun as kids but uh but there is this as a parent, my responsibility is to keep bringing them close to Jesus and keep bringing them close to Mary. Um, and, and she did that. And through, through her um, just kind of guiding us closer to the Lord, we were able to find our vocations. Uh, we lived in a, in a house that was filled with love, filled with joy, filled um, with the recognition of the importance of our faith and the importance of our relationship um, with the Lord. Uh, she did all these things kind of pushing from behind, like a, like a good shepherd. Um, so my mom will be embarrassed that I'm talking about her so much, but uh, mom, I love you. So, uh, and thank you oh, for all you do. Um, that's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, um, would you also then maybe kind of want to share your um, vocation story and sure. how you, cause, cause I was reading a little bit about it and I think that's very relatable. Yeah. Um, Sure. So, so I, um, I, I mentioned my, my father's passing. So he, uh, when my mother was pregnant with me and my sister was two years old, my father was diagnosed with a brain tumor on the brain stem, uh, deemed inoperable. And he would, uh, they said he would die in, in, a, in a few months, um, lived almost 10 years. So very, mm -hmm. uh, very miraculous uh, to the point that doctors wouldn't believe my mom when she would recount the story of, of what like, they were. Of, so she got, kind of annoyed when there was like this is, i know it's a miracle yes but we have to keep going etc cetera, etc cetera. so uh <laughs> I, I was I, I was comedically aware of living in a, in a uh, miraculous life growing up wow. uh, and then from there getting more involved in in our faith i started to uh, as a nine ten year old boy serve daily mass every single morning um so we went to a catholic school there was mm -hmm. morning mass uh, in a, just before school so my mom, my sister, and I went. Um, I would serve every day. And I got to, I was very exposed to a wonderful priest, um, mm -hmm. a man who uh, was able to uh, live a, a very joyful priesthood, a very attractive priesthood. Um, he, and, and he lived it in a way that I could tell he wasn't just like the hero who's falling on the sword here. This, is, this was a man who was living. This was a man who was fully alive. This was someone um, who was living in such a way that was so attractive. So I, uh, that really planted the seed from a young age. Um, and then I like to joke, I got older and got into high school and uh, hormones kick in. So the priesthood is not so attractive anymore. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and then as uh, getting, getting even older and uh, kind of senior year of high school, those thoughts really started to come back into my mind. And I had a plan of what I 
was going to do with my life, but I, I felt this kind of whisper, this tug at my heart the whole time. So uh, that summer, I was at a uh, Catholic summer camp called Camp Veritas. I'll give a little shameless plug there, Camp Veritas. Uh, and that has uh, all these wonderful things. It has adoration every night for a whole week for about an hour and a half. So a lot of, uh, a lot of time for, for great prayer as well. And, and it was there that I, I just really felt the Lord saying, no, Matthew, I, I, I want you to be a priest. And as I was frightened by this, as I was scared by this, I was intimidated by this thinking uh, I, I would never be good enough or smart enough or holy enough to be a priest. Um, the Lord kept saying to me, trust me, trust me. And it was, uh, it, was, it was the right answer because I'm not smart enough. I'm not holy enough. I'm not good enough to be a priest. I never will be. Um, but the Lord uh, just said, trust me. So he didn't say how it was going to work. He didn't say what gifts he was going to give me. He didn't say how he would open my life. He just said, trust me. Um, and that, in that moment, I realized here is the God who created me. Here is the God who knows me, who knows everything. Here is the God that loves me so much that he would do anything for me. Um, why would I not trust him? Why would I not accept this invitation from him? Um, and I, 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 because I realized I would be running from joy and happiness and, and peace in my life if I was going against my creator. So... Uh, that's kind of the three minute version of my vocation story uh, that uh, the Lord was pursuing me early on uh, and quite literally, thank God, he never let go. So I just kept mm. going and kept chasing after me. Uh, and I, uh, so I've been a priest now just over one year. And I think I am uh, one of the most joyful people I know. And, and I think uh, I, I truly couldn't picture my life being any better. Mm. Um, even if I was, uh, you know, maybe doing more um, elaborate things as far as the world sees, making more money, having this or that. I, I don't think I would be happier than I am now. Mm. Um, and there's that trust in the Lord that he uh, is faithful to his promise that when he invites us to something, he will reward us. Even if it's not immediate, he will. Um, and he, he, is, uh, he is very faithful and he's very good and he's very generous. He spoils me. But, uh, and I, and I, couldn't, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. That's beautiful. I also love in your profile, you have written, um, God loves you more than we can ever know. Yeah. I, and, I, and it, oh, good. No, go ahead. No. All right. Uh, yeah, just to elaborate, I think um, we, we hear that a lot. God loves you. Um, and we, we get that it's true. Um, and the more we love, the more we can understand this, right? If, so mm -hmm. those who, uh, who have a great relationship with their parents get that. Those who uh, fall madly in love with another person, a spouse, get that. Those who now have children get that. Um, the more we love, the more we understand what it means to love. And mm -hmm. the more that's just a little window into how God loves us. Um, and we, so we can picture love, we can picture how God loves us, but uh, he, he goes so much further. He goes so much further. Uh, we, we will never be able to comprehend God's love for us. And that's not just something we give up on, but it's kind of a beautiful thing we let settle. Of, wow, God has already done these things for me mm -hmm. and he loves me even more. Or I love this person this much. Somehow God loves me even more. Um, how, how true that is. And, and just, it's such a great, um, it's really consoling to, to think about that and to pray on that and really enter into, um, you know, God loves us so much. He created us. And then he, as if that weren't enough, he became one of us. And as if, as if that weren't enough, he died on the cross for us. And as if that weren't enough, he rose, uh, from the dead for us. And if that's not enough, as if that weren't enough for us, he continues to come to us in the form of bread and wine, right? We just celebrated yesterday, Corpus Christi Sunday, um, that his, he's still pursuing us to the point that he's willing to become this incredibly vulnerable little white host um, mm. just, just to be with us. Um, and it's, uh, it's so, so good. He loves us so much. And then he spoils us. He, he does. He's been <laughs> spoiling me uh, wildly now for the last, whatever it is, 54 weeks, 53 weeks. 
Um, and uh, it's, it's as priest friends of mine joke, you know, you've got a good life. Purgatory is going to be really rough for you. Some of us are living in now, but you're, you're living in, uh, and it's, well, I, I just, I just answered the phone. That's all I did. Um, but it's, uh, he's, he's spoiling me now and I'm, I'm taking it all in. Yeah. So, um, I'm just curious because a lot of us are moms here. What are, um, some of the things, yes, your mom was the driver and the cook and, yeah. and whatnot, but, um, what were some of her actions that you witnessed um, where you really saw her embracing her faith and also the love of God? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say something I saw and say something I didn't see or know of until much later. So what I saw okay. was just um, a, a woman who it was so evident that she loved us. I mean, the, the amount that she sacrificed for us um, the stress she would undergo for us to, to try to uh, make us happy uh, to, it was her constant worry that we would not have a, a good life or that uh, because of our, uh, our father's absence, she would, um, she would not be, be good enough. I think it's fair to say, I don't know if she's, my mom probably tuned up by now, but um, she, uh, I, I, that she was just, uh, she, this was always on her mind. Um, and uh, not, you know, necessarily physically just giving us whatever we want in hopes that we'd be happy, but um, also remind us how, how, how blessed we were. My, my sister mm -hmm. and I were, were, were very much aware of how, how blessed we were, even um, if our, our father passed away. You know, we, she would remind us, you know, you're, you're blessed to have a father who, who loved you and wanted to be with you. Um, look at all the things that, that even if, I mean, we weren't wealthy, we weren't well off, but, but look at all the, the things that you have and the opportunities you have and the great right. family you have. And we were aware of how blessed we were. So I mm -hmm. think that is the thing I saw um, of how much okay. she loved me and how, um, how, what she sacrificed for us. And it was, it was very clear. She also kind of instilled values in us in a good way. You know, um, she didn't spoil us. She taught us. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what I saw. And what I didn't, see till later as I got older she would reveal this and I kind of hinted at it earlier but she would reveal how she was constantly praying for us uh, almost in desperation mm. um, she uh, again uh, before my father's passing w we were not a terribly faithful family we were we were Sunday mass goers uh, mm. wouldn't, wouldn't miss yeah. a Sunday mass um, we would pray grace before meals we, we, we did those things yeah. but we were not um, this was not like Teresa Luzu's family. This, this, this was not, right. yeah. uh, mm -hmm. a, 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 you would write the book about this family. Um, but after my, my father passed, um, again, like I said, she, she prayed in desperation for us, um, you know, mm -hmm. almost moved to tears of, I, I just hope they have a good life. I mm -hmm. hope, I hope they're loved. And, uh, and I tell this to, to moms all the time. Um, a lot of moms will ask me to pray for their children. And of course I will, you know, I, I saw that as a, a lot of intentions on the screen. Um, so of course, uh, of, of course I will pray for your children, but keep in mind, God has a mom. God ah. has a mom. So God knows uh, the, what moms are like firsthand. Mm. And he knows how, how desperate a mother can be when she's praying. You know, I, I can only imagine what, uh, what Mary prayed like at the foot of the cross or what she prayed like, mm. um, you know, in, in those moments of, des of, of desperation. And you know, we think often of the wedding piece at Cana as a, as a joyful moment, but uh, even, even more deeply um, in those difficult moments throughout her life, the seven swords piecing, piecing her heart, I think she prayed desperately in those moments. Um, right. So God knows what moms are like, uh, and he can only resist the prayers of a mom for so long. Mm. Um, so, so moms, I, I, I encourage all of you, and I know you do, you know, right? I, I know there's probably, I can't imagine there's a single mother on here who does not pray for her children every day. I, I, I can't <laughs> imagine that's the case. Um, but to, to keep praying for your children, um, knowing that, that God is faithful, that God uh, hears these prayers, um, and that he will reward, uh, and, that, and that he always does. Um, in, in his time is the key. Um, you know, we all know of St. Monica praying for her son, Augustine, 
uh, to the point that Augustine would flee his mother so that he didn't have to talk with her about the faith. And now um, her son is one of the greatest uh, saints, the one right. of the greatest gifts that our church has had, which is brilliant mind. So to keep praying for your children always, uh, knowing that God likes moms. He has one. Yes. Thank you. This is, this is so beautiful and yeah. so inspiring and uplifting and motivating. I think um, this is really... Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you. you. I want. I want to apologize because we've been trying to do this for about a year, and we had oh. two separate dates. And I was a horrible person and kind of had to cancel on you. So I'm oh. glad I could do this. So I apologize for that. Oh, to be with you this morning. No, thank you, thank you, and also, yeah, thank you to Caroline, who's um, she works tirelessly behind the scenes, really trying to yeah. um, bring people like you on because. Um, just your testimony and witness. Yeah. It's, it's really, really helpful. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I don't, can we end on a blessing? Sure. Yeah, sure. Kind of, we'll but... pray for, uh, <laughs> through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother mm -hmm. of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, St. Michael the Archangel, and all the angels, saints of heaven. May Almighty God bless all of you here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. You're welcome. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day.